major Indian oil firm starts cutting oil imports from Iran. One of the biggest Iranian oil customers is Indian refiner Nayara Energy, formerly known as Essa Oil. It started scaling back oil purchases from Iran this month, Reuters reported on Monday, citing sources familiar with the issue. Nayara Energy has just rebranded after a consortium of investors, including Russia's largest oil producer, Rosneft, oil trader Traffic Ua, and UCP Investment Group, finalised a deal to take over Essa Oil in the summer of 2017. Prime Minister says Iran should not interfere in Lebanon's affairs. Lebanese Prime Minister Saeed Hariri has criticised a top Iranian general for comments he reportedly made recently, in which he praised Iran-backed groups for making gains in last month's parliamentary elections. Hariri told reporters Monday that the comments are regrettable, adding that interfering in Lebanon's internal affairs is not in Iran's interests, nor those of Lebanon or the region. New reports of protests in Iran From early Monday morning, the cities of Avaz, Tehran, Shadigan, Borazjan and Izar have witnessed rallies by workers and other groups of people protesting poor living conditions, social crises and theft by authorities and state companies. Raf Sanjani Daughter Iran's policies will force regime change. The daughter of Iran's former president, Hashimi Raf Sanjani, has criticized Iran's foreign policies, saying that they will lead to the overthrow of the regime. Faiza Hashimi said, The regime is giving the wrong reasons to the Iranian people in order to distort the public opinion about what has happened and what is happening now. Since the current problems facing Iran are not the result of the Iranian nuclear agreement, but because of Tehran's foreign policies, including in Syria and Yemen. She added, Ironically, when we intervene in a country, we spend a lot of money there and distort our credibility in the world. But when it comes to benefits, we are expelled from these countries, including Syria and Iraq. Adding that these policies have proven to be counterproductive and harmful. Iranian women's rowing team exercises in black water. Iranian women's rowing team exercises in black water. Yeganha Yuutpa, one of the members of the Iranian women's rowing team, describing the deplorable conditions of women's exercises ahead of the rowing tournament. Yehutpa also explained in this interview that the circumstances for the Iranian women's rowing team is horrible and they do not have any place for prep exercises. As a result, she said, the athletes in the field have to do their exercises in the sewage and there has been no improvement in this situation. <laughs>